kids, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to another episode of Who's the Boss? The paint or the artist? <laughs> uh, hopefully it's the artist tonight. So normally, I wanna say 80 to 90% of the time, I try my damnedest to ignore fluid art trends. So, not that I don't like them, I usually love them and I get super tempted and I don't allow myself to jump on the bandwagon. Uh, examples are, I don't know, when everyone was doing pink kiss cups or the marble, when everyone had the marble, I'm like resist it. And I do that because it forces me to use my own imagination. And this isn't a diss on any other artist, by the way, just getting that out there. It's just my own thought process to make myself grow. Um, so I resist, except tonight. I like caved, I totally caved because uh, if you go to Shelly Art's channel, Shelly Carruthers, she did the most amazing beach pour. And everyone in the Shelly Art group has jumped on the beach pour bandwagon and they're all like so, so beautiful that I'm caving and I'm caving and I'm gonna do one and fingers crossed it turns out because I'm gonna go big. I'm not gonna do it on an eight inch round. I'm gonna do it on a 16 inch wood round that barely fits into my tub. So, um, and then, so I'm giving myself a pass <laughs> and then I'm gonna stick, try to stick to my role that, you know, ignore it, do your own thing, do whatever inspires me. Now, so sometimes that doesn't mean that you know, a month from now, I might get out of marble and do, you know, a design with the marble if I'm inspired to do so. I hope that makes sense. I don't know. It does in my little pea brain. <laughs> anyway, let me get you down. Okay, here goes nothing. This is a uh, color called Warm Metal. It is by Handmade Modern, super old. That's good shade for sand. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of Harvest Gold. Tiny bit of glisten. I do lighter colors. I sand. This is True Blue, liquid, um, liquid text, a Perlex color. And we're gonna add some Boom Gel to this. This is Pearlescent Baby Blue. In fact, I'm gonna do some Baby Blue here too. Let's just do more because I'm in love with those colors. All right. Let's go with some Viridian Green. I think it's too green, but it's all I had.
and we'll put some aspen. I didn't have the seafoam color. I'll keep that out for a second. Move on to um, some Matisse, some Southern Ocean Blue. This is too hard. This is poor. I think we're going to put some um, Aspen on top of that as well, a little bit. Go dark and some Prussian blue. So I'm gonna put some Southern Ocean on top of it. In fact, I might do two. I'm gonna do two layers of that. in here. Just a hint. And what else? A little more glisten in this part. And for sunsets, I'm going to have to make up some more blue. We're going to do the orange. That is um, Burnt Orange Modern Masters. We'll come in with some gold too. And just a little bit of pink gold. The Prolex. Hmm. I don't know how that's going to work out. If I should go all the way across, I should probably go all the way across. Do over. <laughs> Let me fix that. Sprinkle some more pink in there. All right, swipe time. I've made up three colors. I have uh, gray blue, titanium white, black oxide. I think I'm going to go with the gray blue here. Let's do the white. We'll do the uh, top first. We'll do white and gray blue combo. 
Bear with me if you can't see. I'm just loading up my uh, palette knife. I'm going to do straight gray blue in this. Just loading up my knife. I'm going to do gray, blue, black. I think I'll go black. Get the black done first. Covering up my knife. Making a drippy mess on my tarp. Splooch in there. And one more. I really like the beach. white. If I don't like it, I'll do it over. Oh, it came out very silvery. I don't know about that. Give it a second. I got more sunset than anything. I got more sunset than water. <laughs> uh, I don't like the green either. I don't like that. It's the wrong shade.
This color was better. Where'd the boom gel go? All right, so that was the black and the blue gray. Loading up my knife. That's too hard for me to get to, too. I guess I gotta go this way. Mm, it's spinning. Give that a second. That's gorgeous. All right. On the sun. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to spin this a little bit. See if I can get rid of that wonky wave in this. Get rid of this and get rid of this. The rest of it I kind of like. I barely have room to spin my finger on this. I don't want to lose all my sand. Huh. Well, dilemma. I like the ocean part. I'm debating whether or not do I even keep that little itty bit of sand. Love the sunset part. The sky. This. What do you guys say? What do you think? I don't know. The color of it is perfect. I mean, I could redo it right here, I guess. I'm gonna walk away for a minute, come back. Good grief, you guys, I'm torn. Um, the sky, this, when I get you down, is stunning. Um, those three colors, the orange, the gold, and the hint of pink, it came out uh, better than I could ever have hoped for. 
this part here is beautiful. This part turned out more rocky, so it, it doesn't blend as well as I would hope. Um, but I do love the colors here. I'm still struggling with my beach because I'm enamored with this color. And I think what's bothering my eye is that it's like a little crescent moon instead of being straight across and there's not enough of it. And one thing I've been doing lately is to see how much paint I have on my substrate is I take my little stick and I just do this. And it tells me how thick the paint is. This tells me I still have a fair amount of paint on here that I should probably spin this and take some off. It will probably mean that I lose my sand, which I think I will be okay with. If it was like another inch and a half and went across, I could live with it. So I think bye-bye sand. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, it's kind of a shame. I might have to try this again at some time and just it's figuring out um, your layers, how wide to make your layers. So I'm going to stick my finger to spin this. Let's stick it in the sand. Watch it won't come off. <laughs> I can use a little, lose a little of the sun or, you know, the sky. So that's starting to come off. Whoops, did not mean to move the whole thing. I have it all nice and centered too. Hold on. Oh, good grief. Don't mess this up. It doesn't want to move. There it goes. Yeah, it's, it's coming off. How much is left? I'm just going to let it go a second. Even though it's making me dizzy. <coughs> no, that's almost gone. You should do the trick. That was a good spin. I'm out of brown now. That's going to make me nervous. It's going too fast for me to stop it. Let me use my palette knife. Try to get it underneath. Haha. <gasps> yep, that was the right call. It's like rocky beach into sea into sunset. That was the right call. Phew. Always nerve-wracking, right? When you see the potential, like this could be really, really good. And then you don't want to screw it up. And I think it took off enough of the uh, sunset too. Yep. Yep, I'm not messing it. I'm going to do my little stick test and see how much paint is left. But I'm going to wipe off my fingers first because I don't want to drop anything into this. See, I just don't want to risk it, but I want to make sure I got enough paint off. Let's go right here in the middle. Oh yeah, see now it's just, I don't know if you can tell, it's just the tiniest tip. And guys, I'll tell you what, I did fairly well in estimating how much paint I need. I still have a ton of the green because it was the wrong shade. I have a little bit of my beach color. I have a whole bunch of the glisten and everything else, a little bit of pink gold, but everything else, um, 
basically two ounces per color for a 16 inch round. And if I eliminate, that's two, four, six, eight, ten colors. I am literally, I'm going to take, I have a, um, this is 20 inch, this is 16 inch. I am going to grab a 15 by 30 and just cover this whole thing. It's sitting on my spinner. It can just stay there overnight and not move. So uh, let me get you down for a close up and we'll leave it here. And uh, hopefully it dries well. Show you dried results. Um, let me see. You'll get to see them at the end of this video because uh, this won't go up for a few days. Hold on. Hey guys, excuse the mess, obviously, in my little tub here. Um, I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to let it dry in here and cover it up. Uh, here's the rocky beach part at the bottom. Super pretty. The colors are not picking up. I think it's too much for my camera to handle. And then it, it, it slowly gets darker, which is awesome. And I think it was a good call to re-swipe the green areas. Um, it looks doesn't look like grass anymore. So, and that's just all super, super pretty. I like the quiet area running through here before we get to uh, the big waves of the ocean and all the different colors here to this nice uh, variation of shades. Hopefully some of them are showing up. My favorite thing though is the giant sunset and it's not picking up the pink and there's pink in there like Right, right in here, that's all like the pink gold and then the gold with the orange is all blended together. Um, really, really super happy with the um, grayish blue cell activator. That was a good call for the water, I think, too. And then for the rocky beach, the uh, combo with the black turned out pretty well, too. And come up high. So there's the wet results. I'm just going to cover this whole thing for a couple days and uh, I'll be back to show you the dried results. Hey guys, it's Karen. I'm back with the dried results of my little beach round here. 16 inch round. It dried amazing. Look how glossy it is. I haven't done anything to it yet. And I've been staring at it and I think what I'm going to do is do the resin wave so i'll resin put a first coat down and then the second coat i'll do the frothy white um coming over the the pebbles here and then even then i might turn it into a clock so yeah it, it looks exactly the same as you saw it you know 20 seconds ago so uh yeah there it is uh let me say goodbye Okay, what do you guys think? Uh, did I do it justice? I hope, I hope. Um, even if not, I like it. That's all that counts. I think it's beautiful. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't talk a lot, or maybe that's a good thing. Uh, it is 2.17 a.m., so late night pouring for the wind, man. Yep. Uh, anyway, you guys take care. Please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome to new subscribers. Thanks for tuning in and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace out y'all.